The year is 2008, and the world is at stake. All around the globe, temperatures are rising. Greenhouse gas emissions from the world's major industrialized nations are resulting in an amplification of the greenhouse effect that grows more dramatic with each passing year. Degree by degree, the world's mean temperature begins to climb. The sea level begins to rise. Extreme weather events are becoming both more frequent and more devastating, resulting in billions of dollars of damage to the U.S. economy. For its part, the U.S. is among the largest producers of greenhouse gases in the world. And the worst part? The President has done almost nothing about it. But with the new term comes a new hope. And the truth is that we can't afford to let the same old politics stand in the way of our responsibilities to future generations anymore. His name? Barack Obama. His quest, saving the world. His favorite color, green. Climate is changing, weather patterns are changing, and that over the long term it will have a significant uh, damaging effect on the world economy and on the U.S. economy. And so we can't do the same thing when it comes to energy bills. It's not enough just to incrementally, here we'll fund a million dollars here for solar, we'll fund two million dollars here for biomass. That's not enough. We have to fundamentally reconceive how we use energy in this country. It's good for our economy, it's good for our environment, it's good for our foreign policy. We've got to turn the page. That's why I fought successfully in the Senate to increase our investment in renewable fuels. That's why I reached across the aisle to come up with a plan to raise our fuel standards that once supported lawmakers who never supported raising fuel standards before. If we increase fuel efficiency standards on cars to 40 miles per gallon, we would save the equivalent of all the oil we import from the Persian Gulf. It starts with setting a hard cap on all carbon emissions at levels that scientists say is necessary to curb global warming and 80% reduction by 2050. All right. the government can get money from the auctioning off of some of these emission rights and use it to finance investment in alternative fuels. And it can be a win-win-win situation all across the board. Starring George Bush, John McCain, Barack Obama, and whoever his running mate will be, it's time for Obama. November 2008 visit barockthemovies.com